Hey guys, and welcome back to Johnny and Lawrence's Project Ozone 3 series. Um, so we've done another few things when we've been off camera. So as you can see in the background, we've added some sprinklers to our farms. This was just to speed up some of the upgrading process. So we've got some seeds at 10, 10, 10 now. Um, we have also, as promised, went off to the nether and mined a load in nether rack, uh, just because that would have been dull on stream. We've sifted through all that nether rack and that resulted in us getting some of those um, sapphires and rubies and peridot that we needed for some of the mob masher upgrades, which is what I'm going to work on to begin with. Uh, we did create a sag mill just to help with this, so you can put double compressed nether rack in here and it will churn out just output straight in and automatically sift it so that that saved us quite a bit of time. Mm -hmm. um, we've also built two new platforms which we'll hopefully be using today. Um, just a bit of space for I might end up working on some embers. And I am going to be having a look at massive engineering. Uh, as be because we put some water down, the, the water noise was getting annoying, so we've also put around some sound dampeners, which just get rid of that ambient water noise. So, I think to begin with, I'd like to pick up where we finished on the mob masher, and I've already set out quite a lot of the, the tasks. So, the upgrades we wanted to make were the beheading, bane of anthropobs, smite, looting and sharpness and I don't think I said anthropods but whatever I said that one um, so you see I've already put all the stuff together it's quite simple rotten flesh we had from the mob farm and gold we already had redstone so that's those ten the same for the looting upgrades just some lapis and gold the the mob masher sharpness one um, I've already done nine of them because you can't stack swords, but that's the recipe for that one. I have the other nine in here. Uh, the next one is the beheading. So just to show you, that was the three helmets. Um, so I've already set out the last helmets we need. The sa sorry, ruby, peridot, and... Sorry, no. Yeah, ruby, peridot, and sapphire. I'm just going to bung them in here. Guess what order they were in. Nope, not that one. Blue, green, red. So close. As it's got the ten of those. And then lastly, the Bane of Anthropods. So that's all of those upgrades made. And we can just put them straight in. So I haven't done the fire aspect. Um, I can't remember why. I think one of the resources we don't have in abundance. So I didn't want to do it quite yet. I've also laid out the stuff so we can upgrade the vector plates. So I think we can do all the way to the extreme ones. So to make the fast vectors, we need dark sugar, which is just sugar wrapped around wither dust. So I'll make the first one like this, and then you can use the dark sugar to make future dark sugar. Oh, that's quite cool. So if I've counted this right, we should hopefully have the exact right amount. <laughs> or a crazy abundance. I completely miscounted. <laughs> but we now have a lot of dark sugar. It will be useful at some so. point. <laughs> so that's the fast vector plates. And then to make the extreme vector plates, you just want to surround a weather dust block with fast vector. And that's just made from four weather dust which we're also collecting in the mob farm. So I've laid that out here. And we can just wrap that around. Balance it out. And there, we've upgraded all our base vector plates all the way up to extreme. So I'm going to go start working on placing these around the mob farm. And I'll hand over to Lawrence. So whilst Johnny is upgrading the mob farm, I have decided to make some sledgehammers from tin crystals. So, um, it basically means instead of making a diamond sledgehammer anytime we want to crush 
uh, stone into gravel, etc. We won't need to spend diamonds to do it, which is quite nice. So, to do this, all I need to do is make a tool rod, a binding, and a sledgehammer head. Now, I've done some. Uh, well, I basically had a look off stream, and I, the fastest sledgehammer we can make is the um, cobalt. Co cobalt? 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 Cobalt, I think. Yeah. Um, and for the binding and the tool rod, I'm going to be using um, osmium, mainly because they give you an experience. Well, every time you use it, it gives you some experience, which is quite nice. So, I've already smelted the stuff down into the smeltery. I think I've got enough. Um, so all I need to do is cast these out. And then once that's done, I can assemble the um, sledgehammers. Of course, I'm making two. One for you, um, one for me. Thank you. I'm a nice person. I've made you a few tools as well. Yeah, I guess. I made you your lumber axe mm. and... You did. Whatever the... Safe, maybe? Is that a safe? A matic? Uh, matic, yeah. That's what it was. Actually, the, the lumber axe was quite useful um, for getting all the spruce for the platforms that we've done. Yeah, we really should set up a spruce bonsai, just so it's going in the background. Yeah, I could maybe do that off, off camera. So, that's all of those. Also, I might just demo the extreme vector plates, uh, because I've almost got them all down. And for those of you that haven't seen them before, they are quite extreme. So you can walk on them fine if you hold shift, but if you let go, it, it, it goes pretty fast. <laughs> um, I did take out the mob masher beforehand, just because I would probably instant die. Oh, that's oh. okay. Let me put it back. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, cool. I just thought it was worth showing that off. Okay, so I've got the three pieces that I need. I can just literally shift click these into the workbench. And that gives us a sledgehammer with a thousand durability, which is quite a lot. It's also got the modifiers. It's got three modifiers, so I can chuck some of these reinforcement to make it last longer. Um, th the traits that this hammer have, it has uh, momentum. Uh, so mining increases your speed the longer you keep going. Not particularly useful considering we have Vein Miner, but yeah. Um The well-established perk is the one that gives you three bonus XP, so for every block you break you'll receive some experience, which is nice. And Dents. Um, the well-established and Dents come from the Osmium. Dents basically means that when your tool has less durability, it will take more hits for it to decrease durability, if that makes sense. It's a very weird way of putting that. But let me just name these. And for those of you that can see, I cannot spell, which is completely <laughs> fine. Um, yeah, I've got sledge with two S's. Well, I managed to lose a vector plate somehow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, On the upside, Oh, sorry, that's something I never said either. Um, we did replace the vacuum hopper here with the absorption hopper that we made last episode. So we set that up to uh, with an upgrade, just so it reaches the whole mob farm. But also it just dumps all the items into that previous chest we had. And it dumps all the XP into this liquid tank. So we should hopefully have XP on tap going forward. Which is quite nice. Yeah. Between your XP tap and my hammers, we might actually be able to use some of the totems. Yeah. If we can afford it. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the other thing. To do that, we'll need to do some quests. Well, the upside, that is what we're all doing just there. So, so hopefully, we should be. I know I could put all the upgrades back into the mob measure and hopefully I've got the glass to hand. Yep, I had came prepared. Uh, I've not forgot anything, have I? Vector plates are down, mob masher's fully upgraded. 
what made his fire aspect and I believe that should now be our reasonably quite upgraded mob farm. Um, should kill the the other benefit of the mob masher is it counts as a player kill. So some of the drops that we wouldn't have been seeing before, we should start getting. And I can't That's think fun. of an example, but <laughs> uh, all of the armor. Oh, fun! Yeah, we might need to start sorting out armor. Annoyingly, I've stepped back and haven't seen a single mob spawn. You did take out all the torches, right? Yeah. Also, there's a sledgehammer behind you. Oh, thank you very much. Um, it's not indestructible at the moment, but the more you use it, the quicker it will hmm. be. I'm more concerned. Oh no, it must be working, because we have some liquid XP. And, oh, there we go. Because we've got the beheading upgrade, we're now seeing heads. So we've got our first creeper head, which is quite exciting. That's quite nice. And I'm guessing I should just be able to put this in a drawer and it will start automatically collecting them? Yep. Perfect. Well, there we go. Nice successful upgrade to the mob farm. Nice. Oof. What are you working on? So I've literally just finished upgrading my sledgehammer, which is now not going to be used for a little while because I don't need any resources. <laughs> it's nice to have. Um, as for now, I was going to work on our storage solution because at the minute there's a lot of chests and yeah, they're taking up a lot of space that we could, well, well not use, but they, they're kind of in the way I feel. So. I am going to be making the shelving unit from Magnetic Craft. Okay. Um, it's basically, it looks like a giant um, multi block structure. So if I just place this down there. Oh, I can see that too. That's nice. Actually, I might move that over one. Doesn't like the torch. <laughs> Okay. Did you just put out an anvil? No, we've all, oh yeah, I made an anvil off camera to rename some of the stuff like your Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Dagnol, because which hasn't kept. Mine is just called Dagnol. What's yours called? Uh, mine's is called Dagnol too. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, it's got stuff in it. <laughs> oh. So, um, to complete this multi-block, that's going to remove the anvil. Uh, chest for the time being. Um, I need to make these iron great machine blocks, which, because I'm organized, I have the recipe saved. These are really simple. You just need some stone and four iron bars, which I believe we should have somewhere. I know we've got the stone. I used a few. You used um, the iron bars. That's we do have some. I don't know what chest I put them in. That's okay. I can make some. They're not hard. No, we've got plenty of iron. Um, yeah, so let me just grab some iron. That should probably do. Mm -hmm. um, make the iron bars. Also, just at the same time, uh, I'm going to start working on embers. So, the first quest is to make the ancient codex, which is essentially just the manual for the quest. Mm -hmm. So. Hunt down ancient golems to gather the crafting materials for the ancient codex. Thankfully our mob farm's already done that for us, so it's just a case of crafting it. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, sorry, I totally did that at the same time as you. Yeah, so I've just completed the shelving unit quest, which is just getting you to make the blueprint and the uh, blocks you need for it. So I'm just gonna go over that. Ooh, that was weird. What was that? Um, because I'm placing it inside the multi-block, I'm getting like the text right in my face. Oh yeah, you do. That's quite annoying. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just stand on top of it now. Also, I didn't realize it was like special blocks. I thought you just put down like chests and stuff. How do I? I need twenty-eight. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, no, I forgot. It's two layers. So you're one short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Each one needs 29, not 28 as I first thought. Um, actually, we also cut down the sugar cane and it's grown back quite a bit because I needed some paper off camera. Which I can't find anymore. 
Who does some string? Do you know where I put the sugar can? Oh, I think I put it up by the farm. <laughs> Silly. But I swear I have seen paper around. I might have used it all. I'm not sure. I mean, I could have knocked down the sugar can again. That would have made sense. Mm. But. And there you go. There is a sugar can. Just climb on top of this note. I need to. Because I want to move your torch. Mm. The torch is on the weird seat. Place. Well, well, that is. It's a lot nicer looking than the the blocks. <laughs> yes, it is. How does it work then? Uh, oh. Add uh, chest to increase storage. Yeah, so at the moment I can't put anything in it because... Oh, yes I can. No, I can't. Don't shift click things into it, it will make them disappear. Um, well, did you delete anything important? Uh, some iron... Oh, uh, not like things. your hammer or something. No. So I'm just going to grab a ton of wood. And I'm going to make a load of chests. Because why not? Uh, just quickly to show as well. Um, so I was going to start working on the ember stuff, but the noise of all these slimes is annoying. So just to show you how we did this before with the, the sound dampener, there's this thing called the sound recorder. You shift right click to turn it on, you see the red light, and then shift right click to turn it off. And when you right click at it, it'll show you all the sounds that heard in the area. And you just put in these sound patterns to record it essentially and we can then just stick them all in the sound dampener is that what it's called sound dampener yeah and it will just mute them essentially so we don't hear them anymore which is perfect <laughs> so i'm fed up with the slimes <laughs> so when you right click this shelving unit with some chests it makes them very pretty and it puts like these boxes on which looks nice and you can put them on the middle layer, bottom layer, the middle layer, and the... I'm going to have to jump on something because otherwise I'll have to keep jumping. And the top layer. Although that has sort of swallowed the torch. But me, it looks okay. So, I'm now wondering if I can use the item translator just to move stuff from chess I'm lazy, and that will do it quickly for me. <laughs> um, you could just dump your inventory, and we could just move them over. Nice. I, I like this storage solution. Mm -hmm. It is really nice. Still applied energistics, but it's very nice early game. Well, I mean, applied energistics is just like an episode away, right? <laughs> Was this expensive? No, some iron... Um, bars and some stone. Nice. So, yeah, it was really, really cheap. Well, that's what I like to hear. Bye bye, chest. Oh, that's my chest. I want that chest. Oh, did you pick up all those things? <laughs> cool. And I totally forgot what you were working on. That looks so much cleaner, just having that out of the way. Yeah, that's why I wanted to move it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. To be honest, I'm thinking we should I should tear down this smeltery because we don't use it. We don't need it for anything. <laughs> um, the smeltery, no. The, the porcelain one. Oh, the porcelain one. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And then I can move like the furnaces over to that corner, and it will look a bit neater. I, I might do that now. Oh, they're still a reinforced. Oh. They shouldn't be. I used them all. Yeah, it was just a glitch, I guess. When I clicked on it, it disappeared. Um, I've not actually looked at what the first quest now is in Embers. So it's opened up a few different ones. I think the Ember Hammer is probably where we want to start. So, very useful description. The Ancient Codex will have all the information you need. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the Ancient Codex, this is the thing we made just a second ago, is split into a lot of different chapters and trying to find the right one. I always find a bit of pain. So it doesn't look like it's in there. Hello, okay, that's where we need to start. Um, I noticed in another one of the questies, sorry, quests, was for Kamenite. So I guess we should start with Kamenite. 
Kamenite is a very sturdy ceramic mixed from a bit of clay and sand. The mixture yields, when baked, a material that you believe will be hard enough for all purposes throughout all your mechanical ambitions. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. <laughs> you sound so excited. Yeah, so... It, oh, it's just that Kamenite blend stuff that we made before. For um, I, I can't even remember what that was for. But just I'm a bit of clay and sure sand. useful. And from memory, you've set up an automatic clay maker. Yes, yes I have. So, should be a nice big stockpile. And sand? Are we making sand? Um, I believe we are, somewhere. Are you sure? I've never set up a sand thing. Oh no, oh no, maybe <laughs> not. I'm just imagining that. Oh, okay. There, there's plenty in the, the thing. In the storage chests? I don't know what they're called. The shelf. In the shelf. We'll call it that. The shelf. That's a good idea. I've got to make a lot of this stuff because I feel like. Actually, no, I'm just going to make a stack. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, where's the furnaces went? Oh, I've literally just tell them now. Oh, okay. Uh, I need give one. me a second up. Preferably that one. Yeah. There you go. Can I get a speed upgrade too, please? Maybe. I'm going to have two. I don't think they stack, but thank yeah. you. Um, so we should be able to smell this. And I think that'll be quest complete. Woo! Yay! Two for two. Okay, I think all these quest descriptions are just going to be the ancient codex will have all the information you need. Mm -hmm. um, so it looks like we're going to be spending quite a bit of time in the ancient codex. What are you working on just now? Uh, I was trying to place this plate cast. Oh, it's because we already have one. Oh, well, into the void you go. I made that. <laughs> you probably made the other one as well. Oh, we had two plate glass? Yeah, that's why I threw one away. Because we, right. we don't need two. I couldn't find one in the chest. It was in the... Oh, uh, yeah. that makes sense. Um, oh well. So I've done the shelves. I am going to have a look at the Master of Engineering quest line. I'm also going to claim rewards because yay, presents. <laughs> um, I have a few. So now. Off stream, we've obviously done some work on the industrial hemp fiber. Um, so the next task, or the one I'm going to choose between the voltage wire, which wants you to make all three tiers of wire, doesn't really seem necessary at the minute. I'm going to choose the hammer quest. Um, and the description is as thorough as yours. You may <laughs> learn more in the engineer's manual. <laughs> Basically, to start off, I'm going to want to make the engineer's hammer, which is really simple. Two sticks, two iron, and an industrial hump fiber. You say it's simple, but I'm already scared. There was a previous mod pack we played where every time you open the engineer's manual, Manual, it will just crash oh, the game. God, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that doesn't happen here. <laughs> um, also, just for a bit of irony, I made all that Kamenite blend and I smelted it all. And the very next thing you need to make needs the Kamenite blend, not the smelted version. <laughs> so <laughs> I have made another stack of Kamenite blend now. Oh, oh, okay. It's giving the yeah, what you call it? Shelving unit. Shelf has given me back the iron stuff I'd lost. Oh, okay. Packets. That's nice. Um, I don't think this quest book's quite as thorough. Sorry, not the quest book. The embers book is as thorough as a quest book would have you believe. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? I'm not very sure. How I meant to unlock the next bit. So the next quest is to make these stamps, but that section of the book is still locked out just now. Hmm. Interesting. So I've just completed my hammer quest, which is exciting because yay hammer. <laughs> um, I'm also going to quickly make the massive engineering's manual. Uh, engineer. Book. There it is. 
Just quite simple, just a book and a lever. So, although I'm not sure of these stamp purposes at the moment, I can't really remember, I'm just going to make them and complete that quest and hopefully everything will become clear. <laughs> I'm sure you'll manage. Yeah, I'll be fine. Definitely fine. I've done embers in the past, it's just been a little while. That was a weird noise. Sorry? I had a weird in-game noise. Oh, I think it's my uh, Ember's book. Oh, okay. So it makes like noises when you open it. That noise? Yeah, that noise. That's oh. a weird noise. I don't like it. Oh, it's okay. I'm not really sure how to use the manual. <laughs> okay. So, to get started with the massive engineering, the first thing you want to make is the coke oven. So to do that, you need to make 27 coke bricks. I've already got the recipe saved because I am prepared. So for this, all I need is some clay, some bricks, and some sand. I need nine thingamabobs recipes of this. That's what I was looking for. So I'm gonna grab my clay because somebody made a super duper fancy. <laughs> Sorry, I've got quite a few bits in my inventory if you need it. No, it's okay. Uh, hmm. I'm just going to continue with the quest book and ignore the ancient codex for now because it's all locked out for some reason and I can't really see a good reason why. So that tinkerer's hammer that was mentioned is just some iron lead and sticks so we can make that <laughs> nice and um, what was it you're working on just now uh so i'm making the coke brick to make the coke oven so i've got uh, my bricks yes. the very very fun slow coke oven <laughs> it, it does its job it does its job. Um, so I've got my bricks, I've got my clay, I just need to make some sandstone, which you can make by literally just putting four sand in a square. And of course I need my sand. And I have made the ember hammer. Nice. Yeah. Ironically, that unlocks piping. Which uh, we've already made quite a few of the items for because we're using ember item pipe item pipes. pipes. Oh yeah, we were. <laughs> Where? I think we still are. For the the auto sifting. Oh yeah, to move the stuff underneath. Also, I may have come across a problem with our water feature. Yeah. Apparently, we guardians can spawn in the water. Oh, that's maybe a good thing because I don't know how we would get them if we need any of their drops. Ow. Do they even have any good drops? I don't know. I'm going to keep hitting them. Yeah, I'm coming to see. That is a beautiful water feature. How dare you? Yeah, wow, they damage you. Yeah. I don't oh, know. I thought killing that gave me the coal coven quest. <laughs> I don't know why it triggered there. I have no inventory space. I can't even pick that up. There's a go. So what do we get? We got some prismarine and a legendary oh, loot bag. there's more stuff. Oh. Uh, Guardian scale. Oh, I think that is useful because we need that for armor at some point, maybe. Yeah, so our water feature is actually a guardian mob farm thing. It's a very, very basic one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you chopped down our sugar cane. I did, I needed some sugar cane. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, I think... If I just make this item dropper, I should be able to just quickly finish this quest as well. And then we'll have actually made quite a few quests yeah. this episode, which yeah. would be nice. So to assemble the coke oven, all you need to do is make a three by three square and whack it with a hammer in the middle. And there you go. So this will slowly turn coal and charcoal into coke coal and produce creosote oil. 
Um, the coke coal is important because you can use it to make steel. And the creosote oil is important because it gives you this um, treated wood, which is basically used in quite a lot of immersive engineering. So you always want a good supply of it. Yep. You get through it quite fast yeah. from memory. So a bucket of the oil will make eight of the treated wood planks, which you can then use for other things. So I am just going to very, very quickly dump a stack of coal blocks in there, and that will just keep ticking away for the time being. Yeah, and as an advantage, we're playing on a server, so it will keep doing its thing, even when we're not on. Yeah. Um, I'm when we're off stream, I might set up some automation for this, just to extract the uh, the oil and the coal, etc. And I think I'm just about to complete that Ember's quest, so... Item Dropper, I think nice. was the only thing we were missing. Uh, so it's complete? Yeah. Ember's Piping. So, off stream I will work on some automation for the blast brick furnace for the coke coal oven sorry and i will get all the stuff i need together to make the blast brick and to progress further in a massive engineering yeah and i will just have a look into embers a little bit and see what quests we've got to work on to get this going since our embers platform is just a crafting table <laughs> not very thrilling at least immersive engineering we have a coke oven um, true and we have got the mob farm working quite a bit more. Yeah. Um, I've actually never looked in the mob farm. Let's see if there's any any oh, new I'll, items I'll just before. Wow, fun. that Enderman is, he is getting not beat up. Liking that. And yeah, he's not dying. He just is. Maybe he's spinning around too fast to even touch the mob <laughs> basher. Maybe. Um, it looks like our singularity tank is full. Wow. And we have a lot of experience in here. Yeah. Uh, Enderman head. I like that there's six Enderman head. That yeah. implies we're getting Ender Pros. Yeah, we have a stack and 52 now. So I'd say you can go ahead and upgrade the other, those other furnaces now. Mm -hmm. Oh, whilst we're over here, how are our Nether Stars going? Oh, that's exciting. We've got one, now there's five Nether Stars. Five Nether Stars. And a patient bag that is cycling through. So that will keep wow. producing. This that is good. Yeah. That is exciting. I don't know what to do about this Enderman. <laughs> I think he's just going to be stuck there. But it's uh, it's a feature. Yeah, it's like it a, a feature. nice little moving statue. Well, it's odd because it clearly works. I mean, <laughs> we have six, seven Enderman head. Enderman or Enderman heads? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, I think that's... Uh, a good point to wrap up this episode. Yep. So we will be back soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.